Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. You're just in time for the ceremony. Here, come along. Since the ceremony is near its beginning, I wanted to thank you for showing up when you did at such a fortunate and convenient time. Um, let's just uh, down like that. Okay, come over here. Now, you might be wondering what the ceremony is for. It looks to be a cult. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Well, I can assure you, there's no, 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 nothing of the occult going on here. I simply wanted to make something festive for today's Spooky Scary Sunday. This is simply a ritual in order to get you to slice the like button. Is it working yet? <laughs> Seven candles, one for each letter of our creed, our tribe. You know what that is? Samurai. That's who we are. And you still have it slight like, 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 that like button. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Maybe by the end of today's spooky scary Sunday, you will have changed your mind. Now, before we get started, snacks, ladies and gentlemen. Go get them. The family that used to live here, well, you saw what happened to them last week. I live here now. If you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is, you're either new or you're... You just don't freaking listen. In either case, Spooky Scary Sunday is every Sunday. We all come together as a samurai, as a group. We chill out, veg out, eat some snacks, you know, your Funyuns. All right, your Skittles, your Dots, and we watch some scary videos sent in by you guys using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. Follow directions, you get your story pick, you're getting a shout out. With that being said, first story. <laughs> First story of this week comes from Alyssa Sims. Alyssa, I hope I'm saying that right because it kind of looks like Alicia. I'm gonna just say Alyssa. Thank you for sending this in. All the other samurai, move, move, clear out. It's me and Alyssa right now. Alyssa, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Alyssa has brought us a story called There's a Man in the Woods. All right. Animation style is pretty decent. There's a man in the woods. Okay. What a spectacle. Before the story started, this school was still respectable. Bars. My students used to skip down the hill to the honeysuckle, pluck a couple, and collect their nectar till they picked their fill. Except one obnoxious kid, Sid who just watched them eat the flowers while he seethed and scowled cause he couldn't bear to share his sweet treats throughout our recess hour. It's cause it's four I remember been. Sid saying, There's a man in the woods! That's how the rumors began. Oh, he was lying! Of course, Sid had spotted him first. The poor kids. He got him immersed in his spiel about a serial killer whose gun barrel glint hints at peril. A visit oh. to the nurse? Or worse, a hearse waiting just beyond the dale. The children saw him everywhere. Look, over there. That man had Batman ears, we, we swear, and, and crazy yellow eyes. We saw something rusty. His shotgun? It must be. I saw a lady's severed thigh. Rusty. What? Every word I heard was absurd. Yet each day, Sid would stray down way past the playground. Who else was brave enough to save us from the killer's next plot? Oh, the rest of the lot would stop back at the blacktop, sure that any closer they were bound to be found deep in the woods, left to rot. I pleaded for the kids to think and learn to be mature, but after a few more rumors doomed my attempts to prove the school was secure, their fear oh, was undeterred, and when the buses drove them all home, the parents finally heard. Oh, Everything no. just blew up. I received a wall of emails and calls full of shrieks, wails, and all from terrified families. 
Yo, this kid! Terrified families who'd heard word of the murderer and didn't like my lack of action at all. What was I supposed to do? Comb the whole forest? Yeah, right, would you? That means I didn't care? That's not fair, the stories that worried you weren't true. Of course I would feel regret had there been a real threat and I ignored it, and some poor kid got kidnapped while the kids were napping. But you couldn't admit that your good little kid would formulate a fib so he ignored what I said. Your little angels could never oh! pick up such incredible creations? An overactive imagination maybe, but my kid could never lie. How dare I? Accuse a child of being dishonest? Just monstrous. The parents were displeased, and when Gosh. PTA took action, they dismissed me from the classroom. Like <laughs> they knew what was best for their kids. Do you know how difficult it is to get a job when a bitter mom slatters your rep with child neglect from the outset? Now who's in control of your classes? Single file lines? Single file lines? Little vile swine? A killer by oh. the line? Really? Are you blind? Will you find your spines? A child decides to fill our minds with lies, and the next thing you see is people treating me like I'm committing crimes. I was in my prime. Those oh kids were lucky to have me. Do you see what you did? But I can play along. I can be good. Do you hear that, Sid? There's a man in the woods. Oh! <laughs> That was literally like a poetry slam. You know, the other little kid, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that was parents. Now you see the power of your freaking kid, especially in this day and age, something like that will definitely pop off. Are you assuming that my kid is lying? Are you insinuating that he's a liar? People get so butthurt these days, I could definitely see something like that happening. You hear that, Sid? Oh no, hold on, let me get my <laughs> You hear that, Sid? There's a man in the woods. Now the next story is Scary Skinwalker Horror Story animated by Axeman Cartoons. Now, this video was uploaded by Corpse Husband. Uh, everything will be down in the description. Corpse Husband, please don't copy strike me, alright? But Chi Chi, I want to thank you for sending this in. Everybody, you already know the deal. Just move to the side, Chi Chi. Please step forward. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day, Chi Chi. You happen to share the same name as the wife of my most favorite anime protagonist of all time, Goku. So you got that going for you. Scary Skinwalker. You ever heard of Skinwalkers? X-Men Cartoons is a beast, man. Uh-oh. Hello. Oh, man. My family and I live in Arizona, and we occasionally visit our Navajo family in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We left early to get there by noon or less. It is a very long and boring trip there. No. <laughs> no, hold up. Bring that back, young boy. <laughs> Look at my man running. <laughs> Get there before noon and we have time to mess around and talk with our extended family. And we, kids, start to play around till the evening starts to show. I love the animation style though. Like, I love it. Oh no. The house is too small for everyone to fit and sleep in. Some of the kids have to sleep in the trailer and truck camper, but two of my cousins and I had the amazing luck of sleeping in the old slightly torn tent. Okay. Not very uh you know, nice or safe. No, thank you. We are well asleep at this point, and for some unknown reason, I wake up. Of course, I'm still tired and rubbing my eyes while yawning, meaning I wasn't well aware of my surroundings. 
once I finish rubbing my eyes, Thank I you. look straight at the entrance of the tent and see a figure, illuminated by the back porch light, standing in front of the tent. Nah. At first I was scared, but thought it was my other cousins just messing with us. As this person was still standing outside our tent looking at us, I turned to one of my older cousins who was two years older than me to wake him up and tell him that someone was standing outside of our tent. Bro, wake he up! He tries to brush me off, but I persist and he turns to me and asks me what I wanted. I tell him to look at the entrance of the tent, and he does. Yeah, you see I've it? I've never seen someone go from the brink of sleep to sheer panic and alertness in their eyes that fast before. Yeah. He looks at me with this panicked face and tells me to be quiet. He whispers to me that it's a skinwalker and that we need to be quiet again. Skinwalker? We lay there for the longest time and from my memory it was at least an hour or more. We were just about to go back to sleep because it hadn't done anything. Bro, stay back! Then it started to move around the tent. Bro, that thing Naruto running around a tent right now. Woo! Remember when I said this was an old tent? Yeah, it had some holes in it. <laughs> oh, fantastic! And you're probably cold, too. I mean, what if it rains? One of the holes was the size of a quarter, and I decided to be brave. As it continues to walk around the tent a fourth time, I slowly crawl towards the hole and try to take a look. Why? As I did this, my cousin told me to get back to the bed or it'll hurt us. Of course, as a kid, I ignored the warning. Wow. I'm at the quarter size hole and looking out to see whatever it was. It comes around the hole and what I saw was bone chilling. Oh! Oh! What? I bolt back and hide under my sleeping bag while my cousin does the same. This thing decided to stop moving and start looking at us again. I hid under the covers and spent every ounce of energy being scared. Bruh. And then there's one fundamental thing that I'm not understanding here. Right when I first saw that thing, help! Help! Help us! I mean, it's like 50 people in the inside. You either gonna take your chance trying to stay quiet and just hope this thing doesn't kill you, or you're gonna at least, if you're gonna go, somebody gonna come out and see that junk and then they can suit it and do what they gotta do. It's just I look at things from a black perspective. You know, when I get, when I'm threatened, I just yell automatically. I hear some, hey, hey, who over there? Hey, you know, that's just me. I'm not like, oh, shoot. Like, it's certain situations for that, all right? And then I finally fell asleep. Oh, okay, so their way worked. Maybe my way would have got me eight. All right. So that thing just was sitting, standing over them all night. I'm never sleeping in a tent again if I'm this guy. Ever. I woke up early, maybe around 5, and I decided to look around the tent to see if there was anything there. I see footprints, bare footprints that send shivers throughout my body. I saw the footprints move around the tent. This hit me hard because I was now realizing it wasn't a dream. As I further investigate the footprints, I noticed that it went off track. It went off to the rocky hills nearby where we were staying at. I follow the track to the hills, about a football field away from the house. Why? As I continue to follow the tracks, something strange and scary happens. It goes from two footprints walking for a while to footprints and handprints in the dirt starting to form. I found that kind of strange because no person would do that out here. As I followed the tracks further into the hills, the hands and feet started to get smaller and smaller. It then subtly changed into coyote paw prints. That is when I stopped what? and turned back home, first walking fast, then onto a full-on run. When I got back, I sat down on the back porch for a while and thought about telling my family, but I didn't think that they would believe me. In the end, I didn't tell anyone, even the cousin I woke up in the middle of the night. He's like, we don't talk about what happened. 
Well, that's my story. I urge you guys to not go into the Navajo reservation to go looking for them. You will bite off more than you can chew. We, my people, take these beings very seriously and do our best to not talk about them. Even though I broke this code, I just thought to warn you guys about them. Whoever is listening are the first people to hear this story. I had a few more stories to tell, but this is by far the scariest one I had. Hey guys, you want a tip to circumvent everything he just said? Don't go camping! <laughs> This next one's called Midnight Snack, animated short horror film by David Romero, uploaded by Chilling Tales for Dark Nights. Hey, now we talking. Crazy K sent me this one. Crazy K. And yo, Lady Samurai stand up. Where are my guys at? Where y'all ain't sending me none? But I digress. Crazy K, thank you for the story. Midnight Snack, um, I'm sure it's gonna be wonderful, just like you. Midnight Snack. I want a snack. I am a snack. What am I talking about? Oh, this animation though. Bro, be grateful that you're not homeless. I was thinking about this when we had that polar vortex last week. Just sleep in there for the night. Put the door back. I would have put that door back. What the freak you talking about? Oh, this is an ent entire apartment complex building? Whatever. Oh, I love this animation style. It's got that chowder effect where the texture doesn't move. Uh. All right, we sleeping outside. <laughs> oh, we really sleeping outside. Oh no. Or I'm about to yeet that doll outside. One of the two. This is animated on a paper towel. I'm out. Oh. You see homeless people? Give them food. Don't give them money. They're gonna buy crack with it. I'm sorry. Ain't no food in there. You know that. Oh, he hungry, hungry. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta. What are you doing? Oh, it was a heart beating. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where you get all them utensils? And the gas is still on in this place? You could have had that on it be warm. Bro, he just ate a heart. The wall had a heart. He didn't even savor it, number two. Oh my gosh. Another one? Oh my 
my gosh! Woo! Oh! No! Give me back my arm! I'm gonna have to poop it out! Oh no, dude! No. It's called Salad Fingers 11 Glass Brother. Sent in by a uh, sad rainbow sparkle or ranny bow. Either way, don't be sad. All right? You made it on the show. Apparently, Salad Fingers is some creepy guy or whatever. I don't know. Strap in and we gonna learn about this man together. Supported by the Patreons. All the links will be in the description. Rainbow Sparkle, what did you send me? What is this? Oh, this is one of them weird ones. Well, hello, Mr. Fingers. There you are. I've got a collection of little buggers who've been waiting to see you. <sighs> I thought I told you to get a haircut, Marjorie Stewart Baxter. Um, Excuse me? When you disobey me, <laughs> this is what it comes. Uh, I think we about to cut this one. <laughs> you bunch of freaking weirdos. This is what you will be up to in your spare time, Rainbow Sparkle? My man eating a doll hair off. This is what it comes to. <laughs> oh, I suppose you find this amusing, do you? No! Hubert Cumberdale. Hubert Cumberdale? <laughs> You're What's the best name? behaved, Jeremy Fisher. You, you, you'll be first in the bathtub tonight. Uh, oh, don't give me those tears now. They're alive for real? You'll never be a real boy, Hubert Cumberdale. Y'all, y'all really be sending them, huh? I think you're about ready to grow up a little, don't you? What, what does that mean? Uh, grow up? What is that? Oh my gosh. I hope you. I hope y'all don't barf watching this. Cause I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna be alright. What is he craft? What? Is that human skin? Well, who's that little dazzling dream boat? What's your number? Sugar cheeks, thunder thighs. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, sugar cheeks. A new, improved, a Hubert Cumberdale. The oh. real boy. What's that with his nipples? Oh, it's alive. I just went to dance on the rooftops for all to see. I'm fresh and ready for life. 
No, you are not. Sit down. I'm a big boy now. Bruh. They grow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> He's already running about and playing with all the other little girls and boys. He stays on all of them. I've surely been blessed by, by the soft hand of our great provider. Ah. Uh, you're just a glass brother. You wouldn't understand. Uh, you're that? a stupid boy. Y yes, mother. I am a stupid boy. I'm sorry, mother. Fetch me a bowl of porridge. Yes, glass mother. Porridge? How is she existing in the shadow realm of the mirror? Ew. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, he won't let me pass it. He keeps on. What a weak little squirt you are. He keeps on. Stop it. He's doing it. Look at him. Look Come on, he's... weakly bones. Pass what? mother the porridge. I think you want her to starve. I'd rather starve than sit here and watch this pathetic display. You'll forever just be a lonely reflection. It's not fair. I I've been in here for too long. I, I, I want to come home now. Those khaki spider fingers aren't going anywhere. Andrew Hans. <gasps> what, what a horrible thing to say. I don't know. I Maybe we shouldn't have started on 11. Maybe that's part of the problem. <laughs> don't, don't worry. New, improved Hubert Cumberdale. The real boy. <laughs> I know of another entrance. <laughs> Why is Glass Brother so mean, Mr. Fingers? He was raised under the beast's sun. Wait, all right. Morning, wet legs. Thought you'd slip in the back door, did you? Oh. I'd, I absolutely shan't. Uh. Puddle meddling is punishable by a stern rasping. Rasp, rasp, rasp. Rasp. Stop, stop rasping. <laughs> you're, you're making me uncomfortable. Don't worry, Mr. Fingers. I'll clean it up. Uh, Where'd your eye go? Lad. Who are you talking to? Why, Hubert Cumberdale, of course. <gasps> oh. Hello there, little boy. He's my real-life flesh boy. The most beautiful boy in the world. Oh, no! He'll make a good brew, lad. Stick him in the coal shed. Oh, no! Dang, straight abducted him. Jump in. Hurry up. I'm in, boys.
I'm in. Grab him. They just stuck him in a jar? Ruthless. Hello. What, what, what brings you here? You know I why I'm here. I don't think you ought to have stolen my little flesh boy. Um, what the? Oh, I'm out. Oh, my God. Oh, sick. Bye. Clean it up. Dude, clean it up so they can't come. You ungrateful little swine. That'll be eight months in the slug house for you, you rotten little pigeon. Get body! Bye! 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 Bro, you're actually just making it work. Don't use your fist. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, we're never watching this again. My man's over there. Slumped. You little sots with a spittle. You dirty little minge splinter. Get your ass from my chest. Get your house out of the dirt. You fighters for arms and wooden. This bird I'll scatter the bits of your brother on the floors like a mouth. Oh shit, you little bugger. I'll have your eyes for grills filled. I'll have your arms for cricket stumps. Come to the f***ing shut up, filth. Just wait until your father gets. She was letting him have it. I gotta censor that. Y'all are some weird dudes. All right, you guys, that's gonna conclude this week's episode of Spooky Scary Sunday. We definitely had a, a weird, very disturbing array of uh, animations that we peruse today i'm gonna just say y'all are some weirdos all right your freaking salad fingers submission but if you want a chance for your video to be included in next week's episode go to twitter at cory kenshin first all right hashtag spooky scary sunday and then leave a link to your story now before you go i uh i heard of this urban legend all right very serious very scary okay um the entire story is there's a man in the woods. Sarangi. Because my name is Kari Kinchin.